ions. And we're going to rip those little electrons away from the chloride ions. And before your very eyes, you're going to see some chlorine atoms. Piece of chemical magic. Right, you can see the chlorine I imagine. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, it's going. <laughs> <coughs> there we go. Nice one. There's a huge amount of energy released and the energy, um, in most cases when I do this, the energy is enough to, to cause the glass to crack. It doesn't normally crack quite as spectacularly as it did, but these, these um, gas jars aren't made of pyrex and made of quite cheap glass. They don't have good thermal properties and um, when they expand very rapidly, locally because of the huge amount of heat in and around the spoon. The spoon, by the way, has got an old-fashioned name. It's called a deflagrating spoon. What? It's called a deflagrating spoon. What? Only really old chemists. What was that? <coughs> this little spoon here. Well, and it's <laughs> taken the end off the <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's brilliant. That is not only have I lost the gas jar, but I've killed the spoon at the same time. <laughs> Magic. What? It's gone. It's, it's probably melted. Did. <laughs> it's, it's melted. In the air round about you as little brass atoms. <laughs> okay. So.